Hey everybody, it's Tanya at Hummingbird Paintery. It's Wednesday night and I'm going to paint a deer with some trees behind it. I did do a 3D deer um, by cutting it out of wood. This is a canvas and I'm going to paint the background and then put the deer on the top of it at the bottom. So we'll wait on a couple people to come on and then I'll tell you uh, what I used and everything, which I just did, but um, I'll show you. So, how are y'all today? Hope you had a good Wednesday. Hope the weather was good. It was in the 50s here for the high today, so it wasn't too bad. Um, and I had to work, of course, and I work tomorrow as well and Friday. So I'm ready for the weekend. How are you doing, Miss Linda? You doing okay? Hey, Kim, how are you doing? <clears throat> thank you for sprinkling. Hey, Miss Beth, how are you doing? Every time I look at shells, I think about you. <clears throat> and I look at them every, all the time. I had them in the living room, and then I took them and put them in the craft room. Hey, Miss Patty Price, how are you doing? Hopefully, y'all had a good day today. Hey, Miss Ellen, how are you doing? 64. Wow, in Ohio. It wasn't as um, warm here. It was a little bit colder in the 50s. Hey, Miss Debbie and Miss Nancy, how are y'all doing today? Hey, Miss Jenny, how are you doing? Thank you for coming on. Thank y'all for watching me today. Um, hopefully, won't get bored with the painting. I did put some paints on my paint, on my, you know, whatever that is, plate, paper plate, um, to start on this. And I wanted to see what color I was going to put for the background, which is blue. Um, but this is kind of a little bit darker than I wanted. So I'm going to put a little bit of white with it as well. And it's going to go in between the trees. Hey, Miss Virginia Tanner, how are you doing today? So I'm going to go ahead and do in between the trees. We're going to do that first so everything can dry while we do the, the deer. I did cut out the deer myself. And I drew this on here. It doesn't have to be perfect. This blue is a little bit bright for me. And then I was going to use a little bit of that for part of the background. Hey, Miss Peggy and Miss Diana. How are y'all doing? And hey, Pamela Taylor. How are you doing? Thank y'all for coming on here. <clears throat> so I'm painting the background. This is just in between the trees. And it's kind of hard to tell because they're all a bunch of straight lines. If you can see on here, I've drawn this out and it's kind of hard to tell in between. Hey, Miss Lynn, how are you doing? Thank you for coming on here. So I'm just kind of, uh, I don't know, just painting. We're just going to see. The sound's not good on your end. Is everybody having a problem with the sound? Maybe it's Facebook. I don't, I don't know. <clears throat> Can anybody else tell me? If I have to go back out and come back in, I can do that if I have to. I just try not to do that. I'm using kind of a little bitty brush to do this because in between is probably easier with a smaller brush. I'm just going to keep going up and down here. Good there, Miss Ellen said. So it might be yours. Miss Peggy. <clears throat> I don't know. Hopefully. Sounds fine to you. Okay, good. No problem here, Pamela said. So that must be on your end, Miss Peggy. Maybe you can go out and come back in. So, this is the biggest area right here. And I'm kind of lighting it up supposed to be the sky kind of behind it. It's going to be snow at the bottom and then in between the trees is going to be the blue and then grayish whitish trees. <clears throat> so here it is just on this side. That's just the outside of it and the trees are going to come to life a little bit more once we do this. Hey, Miss Patsy Perry, how are you doing? Did y'all do anything fun today? <clears throat> I had to work, so it wasn't fun. So 
good to see y'all. This is the fun part of my day. This is the week that my doctor is at the hospital. So I get to come home. Let me see how this is here. It's hard to tell. <clears throat> I kind of overlap some of these trees. Hey, Miss Paula, how are you doing? Good to see you. Hopefully, this will come together right, but I guess it really doesn't matter. I'm going to try to make it all the trees, and then this is the background. trying to make it kind of a light blue. This is just so, I thought I had a, a lighter blue than this. I need to find a sugar daddy. You got that right. I just don't know. I would love it if I didn't have to work, that's for sure. Except for this. I mean, I would come on a lot more. If you know where to find a sugar daddy, let me know. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I can't find one. Nobody wants me. <laughs> Nobody can tolerate me. <clears throat> At least so far. Maybe I can't tolerate him. Wonder which one it is. I don't know. Men still want to just play around and I'm not into all that. I don't have time to deal with all that madness. Hey, Miss Patty Willard. How are you doing? You doing okay? We're just getting some blue and I'm getting some white. Hopefully I'm doing the right ones instead of the trees. Hopefully not. <clears throat> I want me doing the trees. Let's see how it goes. There's the tree. <laughs> I just don't know. I think that's behind that. I don't know. All right, we're going to go right in here. Can't hardly tell where the tree in the background is going. Hey, Miss Candy, how are you doing? You doing okay today? Maybe I should have done more of this. So be boring. That's for real. <clears throat> Are you talking about the men wanting to play around? I don't. When do they grow out of that junk? Because I just don't know. It's it's just amazing to me. Nobody wants any companionship anymore. Not that I really have time, you know? Dreary weather. I'm never boring, Miss Patty said. Thank you, Miss Patty. I'm with you on that, Tanya. Figured out I really like it on my own. Me too, Lynn. I mean, the only reason why... I mean, sometimes I get lonely. And I'm here most of the time, unless I'm with my girlfriends and stuff. Yeah, me and Miss Virginia said. <clears throat> Unless I'm, you know, with them, I'm by myself. And so it's really kind of, I don't know, sad sometimes, especially in the winter when it's all blah and everything, even though I love to paint and get on here with y'all. I would like some companionship. But most men don't want any kind of relationship. I don't understand it. I know, I don't want any time for the runaround either. I don't have time for that. And if that's what they want, then they're just going to have to go on. Uh-oh, I did the wrong one. Let's see. <clears throat> I don't know. I just, I don't know. Nobody wants any... You know, to be around me or something. I don't know. 
there for a little bit. I was talking to somebody I knew in junior high. That's why you have dogs, Miss Patty. Isn't that the truth? That's a better option, isn't it? But, you know, I want to travel still, so I don't want any dogs. As much as I love them, I think they're so cute and everything. I'm just wanting to still travel a little bit before I get too old to want to do that anymore. And so, I don't think I want a dog just yet. And they're expensive. It would either be that or travel, you know? And I think I want to travel. Y'all travel? At all? I'm doing the tops here in case you're wondering. Since I'm leaning over here. Hey there, Miss Danielle. Thank you for coming on, girl. We're just painting the background behind the trees. While I'm sitting here talking about men being so terrible. They're not really terrible. It's just that I haven't found the right one, I guess. I don't know. But heck, I've been single since 2000. So, I mean, how long do you have to be single before you find somebody decent? I just don't understand. <clears throat> Maybe it's just not meant for me to be with anybody else. I am friends with my ex-husband, but he lives in Texas, just like my kids. And I'm not interested in that. You don't travel as much as you'd like. Yeah, it's so expensive, isn't it? I, um, I do want to go out of the country this year. But, of course, my grandbaby is due in June. And so I might have to do it around my birthday because I still want it to be warm. All right, let me try to go back over this way so I don't put my arm in it. Used to travel a lot. Now it's gonna. Now it's going to visit family. I know, Miss Patty. That's what I do. I go see my kids or go to see my stepmom and my brother. My brother's the one that's the writer in Georgia. You'd be wary of getting back out there. I've heard some... Yeah, you got that right, Miss Danielle. I I don't know, girl. I just can't tolerate some of this. And I don't necessarily look for looks, but, you know, you want to be attracted to somebody if you're going to kiss them. <laughs> you want to return to Ireland? I want to go, Miss Patty. That's where I want to go. I want to go there in Scotland for a couple days and go mostly to Ireland. So you've been over there before? Thanks for that little puppy. I love that puppy, Miss Lori. So cute. Got to get my puppy fix on there since I don't have puppies. You're a homebody, Miss Diana. Love being home, live alone, and you're okay with it. Well, I guess if I was a little older, I'd probably be okay too, but I really want some companionship, y'all. Hey, Miss Minnie, thank you for sprinkling. I appreciate that. All right, we're just going to go down this way a little bit. I'm not going to go all the way to the bottom because this is where the snow is going to be. <clears throat> so I'm doing that. So, we're still going in between here, and I'm probably going to add a little bit more white, because this still seems a lot blue to me. I want it to be blue, but a little bit lighter. Let me see. Let me add some more white. Anybody got some sons that are free? Your son went to Ireland. We went with his scout troop and you'd love to go maybe that should be i know we need to do a girls trip who's on board for that you'd love companionship too we could you know all bunk together not everybody in a room but a couple two or three people in a room and we could save some money that way that's what i tend to do let's try to save some money You'd love it too, but 
I get it, girl. Sometimes it's not even worth it. That guy from junior high, he he's really sweet. Hopefully, I'll get to meet him at some point. I say meet. I knew him in junior high, but he was about three years older than me. Hey, Miss Susan, how are you doing? Thank you for coming on here. I'm just leaning over here, and we're just talking about men and whatever else we want to talk about. Rainy there, windy, and flood warnings. I'm sorry, Miss Win uh, Miss Minnie. <clears throat> Let's see here. This goes in here. Hopefully, it'll be better. We were having tornado warnings. I was worried about that. This was yesterday. You and Miss Patty should go to Ireland together. Maybe there's a sugar daddy. I know. Maybe I, you know, on those um, Hallmark movies. Quit that laughing. Who did that? <laughs> um, on the Hallmark movies, they always meet somebody over there. But I bet you I ain't going to meet nobody. Somebody will probably pick my pocket. <laughs> Who knows? <clears throat> I don't know. I've met some really good guys over there but of course I knew them ahead of time that I used to talk to and like I met Alberto over there the one I showed y'all that was really attractive we're still friends and stuff but we don't talk like we used to you're up for that Miss Patty let's go together girl we'll talk about it where do you live again, Miss Patty? I forgot. Be nice if we could go on the plane together, but I don't guess it really matters. Hey, Miss Pat, how are you doing? Uh, not with that attitude. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't, you know, and I'm really outgoing, y'all, except when I'm sick or something. Hey, Miss Maria, how are you doing? Chattanooga girl, we could go. Heck yes. Miss Patty, we got to go, girl. Let's get together. I like Chattanooga. It's better than Memphis. I'm good. We're just talking. All right, now I'm going to go down this way about right in here. We're almost done with this part. We're going to do a little bit of darker color in between there, and then we'll do the trees. And I'll paint the sides later. Gosh, you're close. All right, now I'm going to take this color right here, this blue kind of, I don't know what color you'd call that, a darker blue is what we're going to call it. And I'm going to put just a little bit of it in between. I want mostly some water here. I'm going to dab some of this off. <clears throat> and we just want a little bit up against the edge. Like that. I'm just going to still not put anything but water on there. We're just going to mix it all together. Just on the edges. I'm just doing it with the water. Kind of making it look like snow. Whatever. Just want a tiny little bit. I put too much on there, really. Hey, Miss Linda. How are you doing? Thank you for painting the page. Let me get close over here, too. We're going to go to the edge just with the darker color. Just like that. Anybody else interested in going to um, Ireland? If we plan it ahead of time. And I'm sure I still have some friends over in Europe. I know that Alberto is still over there. I got two or three Albertos. 
I think I really wanted an Italian guy, y'all. I don't know why. <clears throat> but that didn't work out because they all live in Italy. <laughs> Instead of here. Oh, you love to watch me paint. Oh, girl, you can do it, Miss Danielle. Just try. Hey, Miss Dreama. So we're just going to go up a little bit. I'm going to smear this a little bit. We want some of the dark just on half of the tree. You're not up for the long plane rides. Girl, you can take some medicine and go to sleep. You sleep all night long and then you wake up and you're there. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. We've got an international airport here. Does Chattanooga? All right. Let's see. We're going to do the same thing here. If we go over into the trees, it's okay. I'm getting a little water on it, just a little bit of the blue. I want a little bit up here, but not very much because I want it mostly at the bottom. But I'm just trying to make it a little bit different color to look in between the trees. Just like that. And this one really, there's, let me just do that right there. That's better. Your hubby's relatives have a small hotel in Country Court. But we have not met them. Hmm. Is that in um, Ireland, Miss Linda? You better be checking on it for me if you get a discount. <laughs> Discounts are good. Who's Tanya Lee? My middle name's Tanya, I mean Lee. But it's not my birthday. Is it Tanya, the other one, the other Tanya? Miss um, Janice. Wow, you need to check on it. All right. Let's see. We're going to do a little bit right in there. See how it just defines it just a little bit in between? I'm just doing it a little. And then I'm going to do right up in here. We're going to do it in the center. That's a perfect time to meet your relatives when you got a bunch of girls with you. Because I bet they're nice. We could do us a Hallmark movie. Maybe they have a single relative. Yes! They might have a single relative. I'm not sure I want somebody from Ireland, though. I don't guess it matters if they're a good guy. Let's see. We want to go right in here. I'm going to make it a little dark in between where the little edges are right here. But I want to just smear it all in there with the water. A little too much. So we'll take some off. There we go. That's better. Okay, maybe just a smidgen right in here. It just looks like it needs a little something, something. That looks pretty good, huh? <clears throat> now we got to do the trees. Yes, it's Lee Valentine's birthday. It sure is. Happy birthday, Lee. She's probably out with her family. <laughs> oh, comma. Okay. All right, let me dry this a little bit in case we get a little bit of the tree over into the background. And that way it won't, won't roll into there. Because if there's two wet ones, then it'll go into each other. <clears throat> Let 
dry that. I got a couple of little spots there. And I do want to fix this one little area right in here. Let me get. It's just too severe right there. Just kind of ends. So I want to do it like that. There. That looks a little better. Okay. That looks better. Alright. Thank you. Alright, we're going to paint it a gray, okay, for each of the trees. Really, they're probably white. Now, this gray, I thought I had a, a baby gray color, but um, it's kind of a darker color. So, if you ever buy paints and you can't afford but one color of paint and say you needed a green, always get the darker green because you can take other colors and put with it and make it a lighter color. Include the white, of course. So, I'm going to mix this. We're going to make this really pale. I just want it mostly to be white. I'm going to move this over here. And let me get some more while I'm going. That's not light enough, so I want some more white with it. <laughs> See, she told, told us, Debbie did, because she knew what you were talking about. I forgot that it was Lee's birthday. I still got her Christmas gift here. <clears throat> So I mostly want this to be white, but it's going to have a little bit of gray. So we do want the dark gray as well. And I'm just going to take that. See how it's just barely a light gray? We're going to take this and go over the, the trees. And see, the good thing about this is that you've done the background, so you can just go right in front of it so it doesn't matter. <clears throat> so... Do it like this. Even though I made them a little bit smaller in areas, we're going to make them a little bit bigger by doing this. We're just going to go over this. They're just barely light gray. I'm going to make this one a little straighter right here. Just like that. Let me show you. So it doesn't look too bad. You really, if you wanted to keep it white, you could. And then just put some gray accents. And I may do that. I think I'm going to do gray on the outer side. And then we'll do some white on the inside. And let's just see what it looks like. I'm going to do one of each. And we'll see. I'm just taking these. And we'll make this one whole piece right here. And then we'll, we'll divide it whenever we get it done. So let me just see right here. We're going to see if we can do it this way and I'm going to take the darker gray and make some little lines and put some white in it as well so let's just see what we're going to do Elizabeth showed us her Elvis <laughs> I know she was so excited if y'all had just seen her face she was so happy when she got that she goes <laughs> she was so funny <clears throat> I was just happy to give it to her because I knew she loved Elvis. <clears throat> she loves some Memphis. All right, let me see here. I'm going to go ahead and just get some white out as well by itself. Had to take a call. You're back. It's okay. We're still talking junk. Junk and trees. Sorry, not talking. Trying to get caught up after coming home from two weeks in Florida. That's nice, though. All right, I'm going to take the white, and I'm going to go off of the gray here. We're going to kind of go up into this one a little bit. Let me see. We're going to do half white and half gray, so just hold on a sec. Let me see how this is going to work. And then we'll see what we like. If we like it the gray with a little bit darker or if we like the white with a little bit of gray. And y'all can tell me what y'all like and we can fix it. <laughs> yeah, I'm so glad she liked that. I did something personal for Lee as well. All right. So the gray... 
the white here up at the top, this one on the right, is a little bit more grayish, but it's still white, okay? This is the gray, and the one, this one right here, is white, all right? And I'm going to take some of the darker gray, and we're going to put it on the gray part, and we're going to see how it works. So let's see. Now I'm just taking a little bit on the edge like I always do, okay? I didn't take any of the paint off. <laughs> Ellie's Elvis. <laughs> These are supposed to look like, what are those trees out in Colorado? Those aspen trees, that's what they are. Yeah, we're doing a two-day event, y'all. Well, I kind of like that. Let's see. I'm going to show y'all, but let me get down to the bottom. I like some of the white in between. Oh, I like it. Okay, let's see. And it's with Craft Around the Clock. And it's also with the Chuffed Berry Circle. And we're gonna be doing a two day event on Friday. Miss Pat posted it there. So I am on on Saturday morning. So I will not be on on Friday night because there's so many people up until 10 a.m. Alright, that kind of looks good, y'all. Okay, this is the dark gray with the gray, okay? I kind of, I don't know, I like it. So let me try to put some white in between here as well. And we may like the, the gray. We may like the white better, so I don't know. Let me just try to put some in between. Just a little. It may need to be white. But... Alright, that's it's pretty from here. Thank you, Miss Carol. <clears throat> Alright, so we're going to do the white one now. And let me see, we're going to do it with a lighter gray. We may do it with the darker gray. Let me see how it does. This light gray may be too light. Let's see. Yeah, maybe we need to do it. Let's see. Sorry, I'm not talking. Let me just trying to get these just right. I only did this one tree. I don't want it too severe. They gotta. That kind of looks good. All right, let's take some of the white. Huh. Alright, what do y'all think? Like that. I kind of like the gray better. Hmm. Maybe we'll do every other one. What do we do? Why don't we do that? <laughs> we'll just do it every other one. You love the gray? Thank you, Miss Candace. We're talking about going to... Miss Candace is uh, really, she goes everywhere. She travels. She's an avid traveler. 
I think I like the gray too. I don't, maybe we'll just do every other one. And then it'll look a little better. And we'll just use the dark. Just the gray. You like it both ways? I kind of like it both ways too. So that's the reason why every other one we're going to do it a little bit. Yes, they're supposed to be birch trees. Hopefully they'll look that way. That's for sure. So we'll do it that way. It's looking good. I'm going to go ahead and do all the solids first. And then we'll... We'll worry about, ooh, that's too dark. Let me see. We want it that pale color. Now I'm just going across here, and this one kind of goes this way. And I'm going to leave it just a little darker up at the top. It's kind of leaning over that way. And then we'll just keep going backwards. This will be white. And then we'll do this one gray. So I'm just going to keep going with the gray. And this one kind of goes up into here. Even though it's supposed to be every other one. We're just going to keep going like this. In between. We hadn't even got to the deer yet. It's taking so long for the background. Now, because this is going to be white down here, we're going to end up going up into the tree like it's all snowy. Hmm. I think I'm going to do that white, so I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to do it on this one. Because it's kind of leaning into the other tree. <clears throat> We're going to put this one right up in here because it's kind of connected to this one. That's what we'll do. And that's kind of behind that. We're just going to go up into here. We're just doing this any old way we want to, aren't we? That's the good way. I was going to do just the gray on the outside, but I like it every other one. So we're just going to do it like that, okay? So this is every other one. It's looking good, huh? <clears throat> so then we're going to do the white for the other ones. Let me get this off of here. I'll try to get a bigger brush because it'll go a little bit quicker. Is Manny peeking in? Hey, Manny, if you're on here. Thank you, Miss Pat. This is just a, I, this is a fairly new sweater. All right, so I'm gonna take this off. I'll, I'll hold it upside down, okay? So y'all can see a little bit better. We're just gonna go up into here. And right here, where it intersects here. Same thing right in here. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and go right up in here. Just because it needs a little bit in between the gray there. <laughs> you did you did see him. He's just coming in to see what's going on. He's probably busy. He's always on. No oh, Manny. Alright. We're just doing it right there, okay? Now I'm going to go on and we're going to finish these out with the white. And I'm just going to make this one one big one right here. And this one kind of goes up into here. Now I'm going to go on up in here. I had stopped before. That's funny that Manny should come on here. <clears throat> I'm going to get a little bit of water. It doesn't want to kind of dry in a little bit. Alright. And then we're 
we're going to do this one right here white. Yeah, way better. I'm going to go right in here. I've never tried to paint aspen trees. I have been to Colorado. It's very pretty. Have y'all been to Colorado or do y'all live near there? Go right in here. We got a little bit left. Get a little bit more water. Need a cardinal in one of the trees? That's a good idea. Might do that. All right. Okay, now that I've done that, we're going to go back and put our lines. And we're also going to paint the white at the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and paint the white at the bottom. And then we'll come back. That's funny. Manny, what are you doing, dude? <laughs> All right, we're getting some white here. I want that and a little bit of the gray. We'll just do, I don't know. Little bit of that, little bit of white. I still want some white on there <clears throat> mixed in it. We'll come back and soften it a little bit with the white. Not real good at trees. Let's just see. Ugh, I got too much. I mean, let me get that off of there. Hey, Miss Janet. How are you? Thank you for coming on. They said Manny was just on here. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This part's kind of tedious. I don't like it as much. Let's see. Let's get all these lines first. We're going to soften it with the white. Let's get all the gray on there first. I'm going to take some of the white and we're just going to kind of go over this a little bit. Just like that. And it makes it soften up just a tad. Just with the white. Let's see. Let's do that with this. 
put it over the gray a little bit and it makes it a little bit better. See and how it smears it just a little bit? Makes it a little bit better. There we go. It's looking good. All right, let's do this. Let me get some water on there. You want a little bit of water so it'll smooth it out a little bit better. You just want to make it look more like the aspen trees by doing it that way. Okay, let me show you now. So here we are with the background. Hey, Diane Cole, how are you? Thank you for coming on. This is it close up. Let me get closer. All right. So now what we're going to do is take our crappy brush. I always call it the crappy brush. This one right here is pretty crappy. So we're going to take it and put it in the white. And we're just going to dab this on here like we did the other day. And we're going to go up into the tree a little bit because you want it to look like snow. And then just make sure that it looks like that. We want it to be just pushed in there. Like there's snow all at the bottom here because we want this to dry before we put our deer on there and I'm gonna put it up just a little bit just like that and we'll put a little bit of gray at the bottom I'm just gonna paint the bottom let me get the bigger brush and we're just gonna paint that with the white. I'm going to have to get some more white. You can't ever have enough black and enough white paint if you're a painter. It's got a boogie. So let me <laughs> let me pour some. There. I got the boogie out so we're good. And we're just going to do it mostly painting it but we are still kind of patting it on a little. The top part's where you want it to look more snowy, and it can be painted at the bottom. So just dab it on there, kind of like that, no rhyme or reason. Now we'll do some, not really greenery, but some little brown sprigs of whatever at the bottom but we're not going to do that just yet all right let me put that up just a tad there we go so it looks more like snow okay so this is the bottom all painted and we just put that on there just pushing it on thank you for those stars miss lynn i appreciate that now, I will paint the edges and everything, but we're not going to do that right now because we've already taken a lot of time for this. So, let me get my brush all, <clears throat> all rinsed out here. Hey, Miss Deborah Nichols. How are you? Thank you for coming on here. We're going to set this aside, y'all. And I'm going to set it over here out of the way. It's kind of leaning. Now, I bought these off of... A site I can't remember the name of it hey miss Gwen Johnson how are you doing um, and so these are the antlers that I'm gonna use and I got to remember how they're gonna be on here this is the deer that I cut out okay it doesn't have the antlers on there we're gonna take this and we are going to put this on here I don't know how I'm gonna do it I'm, 
I had it all figured out, and then I'm messing with them, so I can't remember. You love it already? All right, let's see here. I can't remember. This is the outside, and this is the end one. All right, this goes over the ear right here, and this one goes just like that. But we're not going to put them on. I'm going to look at it, but this is backwards, okay? Hey, Miss Mary, how are you doing? So I'm going to set these over to the side right here. I'm going to go ahead and paint those, and they're going to kind of be a darker brown, okay? And then we'll put some highlights on it. I bought a silicone mat, and that's what this is that I'm painting on right here. I'm going to see how easy it is to clean up. <clears throat> Hopefully pretty good. Let me get the sides. The sides really don't need it because they already have where it was um, laser cut. But you're going to need, well, you really won't have to do, well, let's do the back because it's going to be up front. And I'm going to glue it to the front of it. I was going to glue it on the back, but it kind of will look funny if I do that. So we're going to put it towards the front of the deer. It's going to look great. And I hope my mat will be easy to clean. It's a lot better and probably cost effective to try to use that and clean it with some cleaner. So we're going to do it this way. And then this one's got to be this way. So we got to paint this side. I just want to make sure I know where it's going to be. We'll take some of the paint off. We're going to put a little bit of white or something on there or cream color one and get these to look in a little bit different. But I do want them dark. I just don't want them black. Thank you for sprinkling. Thank y'all for coming on here. All right, so you don't have to do the sides, like I said, because it's already kind of a darker color on there anyway. So we just want to... In the back part, it's not going to matter that much. You're not going to really see that, but just in case you do, because it's up a little bit from the um, canvas. All right. So let me see if I can. I'm going to take one of these. Get one of these out. So here we go. I'm going to take some of this off for now. Same thing over here. I just don't want it. I want it dark, but not too dark. All right. So they've kind of got a texture. See how it's kind of lighter? So I'm going to leave those over there to dry. Hey, Sherry Forbish, your husband would love to see a deer in the woods with a rack like that. I know. Isn't that the truth? My daddy would too, if he were still alive today. Remember, if you make anything, yes. If you haven't joined um, Hummingbird Crafters, oh, look, it comes off great. Man, I should have got one of these a long time ago. Look at that. Just with a baby wipe. Lord, I've been missing out. Okay. We know what Tanya likes. Okay. So now, <laughs> so, um, now we're going to paint the deer, okay? He's going to be that lighter color, which is the nutmeg brown. And there's also going to be some white areas right in here. We're going to do those last. We're going to kind of go around it. So I'm going to take this smaller brush here and kind of do it. Hey, Miss Tony, it's okay. You're here. We've already done the background, but we're going to do the deer, and it's going to take me a hot minute to do this. So this is going to kind of be the medium color of the deer. And you can do your deer however you want to. I'm going to go ahead and paint most of the deer this color, okay? He's got an eye on here. And I'm going to go around the eye. And there's little accents of white and a little bit of black on there. But we're going to do it this way. This right in here is kind of where 
the whitest. I'm going to go around that. And mostly the rest of it is brown. Thank you, Diane, for those stars. I appreciate that. So we're going to do the side. And you're not going to be able to see the back. So you do not have to cover this. It's going to be glued to the painting. So I'm just going to take this. Go in here a little bit. Here he is so far. You have a couple of young bucks in your field. Oh, take pictures. I want to see. You know, every time I see a deer or a deer family or something on the side of the road, because I'll see a doe every now and then, and uh, I think of my dad, you know, and he used to love to hunt. He hunted almost up until the day he died, y'all. Couldn't even breathe, but he was going to be out there hunting. He hunted in January, and he died in April or May. I can't remember. It's been so long ago. In 2014. I think it was May. I don't know. <clears throat> but he passed away. Every time I see a deer, I think of Daddy. You know, I used to always hate them to go somewhere. I'd give anything now if I could just see them going and hunting, you know. You went hunting the other day, and there was 11 deer that came in. The buck didn't make it. I shot him. <laughs> oh, okay. Whoop. We need the black, but we don't need it just yet. <laughs> I'm pouring the deer in the black. My cousin, she hunts too, Penny. But um, I don't care to do that. I don't want to hunt. I'm just like my brother. He didn't, you know, if y'all read his book, The Greatest Man... The world's greatest man. He talks about my daddy and hunting and stuff, which is hilarious, y'all. Y'all got to read it. If y'all haven't read it, y'all need to read it because it's so funny. He's talking about having candy in his pocket and all this stuff. It's just really funny. And I'm going to go to right there because it's going to be white on his tail. You hear static? Do you have a mic? No. I don't have a mic. That's just my voice, I guess. Probably my nasally voice. But no, I don't have a mic. You want to read it? Yeah, it's Harrison Scott Key. And he won a comedy award for that, that book. And it's funny. It is so funny. If you're from the South... You're really going to understand everything that he says. It's just really funny. <laughs> oh my goodness. And I was listening to my brother as I was reading it. And so you know when you hear your brother's voice as he's right everything. You know if you know who the writer is. Then you listen to the voice while you're reading the words. You hear it too? wonder what it is. Oh, I know what it is. It's the heater. Wait a minute. Is that better? But I always have it on, though, because I'm always cold. It's colder in my house than it is outside. Is that better, though? <laughs> All right. So I'm going to leave a little bit right in here. So we'll know where this leg goes. And then same thing here. Just a little bit there. And there's a little bit of white in here. Just like that. It was it. Yeah, the heater. Yeah, I'm, I figured it was the heater after I thought about it. 
All right, let's do the bottom here and underneath. Well, y'all have good ears. If y'all heard that, because usually I have it on, nobody says anything. Manny's got all this sonic hearing. underneath here get all of this man this mat is like heaven I could always have a pretty table with the mat we get some more of this this is that nutmeg brown. Trying not to waste any. You didn't hear it at all? See, I don't think some people pay attention to that, and then other people, it's like an annoyance or something. I don't know. But I've always been having it on since it's been winter. Even though the weather don't seem winter. <clears throat> Now I gotta go in between. Now am I gonna be able to do that? I just don't know. Let's take a peek here with this little brush. Let me get a bunch of paint on it and then just go out like this. Do the middle. Maybe do this side and then go on the back of it and do the other. It'll look better once we get the extra colors on there. Right now it looks like a blob of brown. Once he's a little bit better. We gotta get the background color on everything we do. Let me make sure. I gotta do this side. Lordy mercy. See, he looks all messed up with that that black spot, but you won't see it because it'll be on top of um, the canvas. So it'll be okay. Alright. I had just enough paint. How did I do that? I might need a little more though, but we'll see. Alright. Okay. So this is what it looks like so far. This is going to be white in here. So is the tail. And then we're going to have a little bit darker color in there a little bit as well. <clears throat> so let me see what I want to do. We're going to get the dark color first. And here is the brown right here, which I've used. I'm going to get a little bit more. This is burnt umber. I want a fresh thing of burnt umber, so I'm going to just stick some here. Just a little, a little booger of it. And we're going to go around the edges a little bit. We're just taking a little bit of the paint and we're going to mix it in here. And we want it kind of dark right here at the belly. See how it's a little darker. And then I still want to go around the edge. We want to go right in here and go down the legs a little bit, about halfway. And the same thing this way. And this one kind of goes right in there, so it's crisscrossed a little bit. We want that good and dark right in there, okay? So see how those legs are separated there? And then the same thing over here, we're just going to make it a little dark, about halfway down the legs. Same thing here, we want to define the legs a little bit. I also want to go around the edge of the deer. And make this a little darker. See how I've separated them just a little bit? 
They've got two different tones. And I want to go across here. I'm going to take a little bit of water because it was getting a little bit like it's dragging. I'm going to put a darker color right in here. Right next to the tail. Just like that. Okay, see the back? And then we're going to go across here. We want a little bit up underneath where his chest is. And I'm just going to kind of go around this a little bit. I want just a little bit in there, but not a whole lot. We're just going to take this and kind of mix it in a little bit. Same thing on this side. And then we'll put the white in between. So I'm just going to kind of do it like that. See that around that white? It's going to be white in there. It's just not white yet. Hey, Miss Kathy Bender. Hey, Margaret Fazio. How are you doing? So we're going to take this and go around the deer's ears. We want to make sure that it looks more like defined ears. <clears throat> Just like this. See there? It's coming together. And we're going to go on the edge of the face as well. And kind of make this more soft looking. And we'll make it a little bit more dark over here. All right. Now I want it to be a little dark around the eye. So I'm going to go around the edge here. And I'll show it to you. Right like that. It looks funny right now. We're going to take this and get some of it out. Thank you, Miss Virginia. Hey, Shirley Hines. How are you? All right, I'm going to take this and we're going to just go down just a little bit. We're going to soften this, but I still want the brown to be there. And I want a little bit of brown kind of like right in here. Let me see. Just want it darker right in there. See how it, it's coming together there? All right, so we're going to take this, I'm going to take the white, and we're going to put it right in here. I'm just going to kind of tap it on there. Same thing on this side as I am on this one, and we're just kind of making it look like little feather not really feather. I don't know what I'm trying to say. More like the deer. Anyway, right there. Just like that. Okay. And then we're going to make its tail white. We're going to do that. And I kind of cut it out just a little bit right there. So it's got a little bit looking like his tail. And then we want to just put this right here. Kind of drying. Let me get some water on there. Maybe that'll help. Doing all of this white. Right in there. Right. So there's that. Okay. That's the tail. He's looking good. He's looking cool. Thank you. Alright, now I'm going to take the white out of that. I'm going to get some fresh white because uh, every time, if I want to get just a little bit on the edge, you have to have a fresh batch. Because it dries fast for whatever reason. And the heater may have been what was doing it. But I always am cold. Does anyone find themselves eating the same thing? 
for days because they can't cook. Yes. Yes, Miss Kathy, I do it all the time. <clears throat> all the time. I'll cook one thing and it's like I have it for the whole week, right? Hey, Miss Minnie. Hey, Miss Susie. How are you doing? All right. So, I'm going to take this and we're going to go up underneath here. Right around his belly at the bottom. Like that. And go behind here. And down his leg a little bit. Alright. Like that. Kind of come up like that. I'm going to get it on the edge again. And we're going to come down his leg. Right in here. Like this. I'm going to take it. And we'll go down right here a little bit. Like this. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit more, and we're going to go down the leg, right over here, and I just want it to be a little bit, there we go. Alright, just like that. And we want a little white around his eye. I'm going to get a little bit more. We want it around here. Okay. Kind of like that. And we want a little bit on his ears, a little bit. <clears throat> I'm just kind of feathering this on a little bit. Kind of look like feathers or whatever they are. The fuzzy stuff. Use that brown suede paint. That would be awesome. Yeah, that's a good idea. I, um, I didn't think about that. If it wasn't all the way up there at the top, if y'all only knew. <laughs> I've got my paints up there that I don't use all the time. Alright, let me see if I can do a little bit of fuzz right in there. Okay. Alright. Let's see. Doesn't it have a little bit around here? Like that. right in here. I don't know. A little bit right in here. Just look a little better. Like that. We gotta put some black in his eye. We're gonna take some white and go on here a little bit. Kind of give him a little bit. A little bit of something. I'm just putting a little bit. Okay, like that. I don't want too much. Just to give it a little dimension. A little bit. Just kind of taking it a little bit. Alright, let's 
put a little down here. There we go. That's not bad. Okay. Let's see here. <clears throat> we gotta have a little bit of black. Let me get this little bitty brush. I can find it here. We're gonna take a little black, roll it in here, and put a little water because it's drying. We wanna make a little eye. Right in here. And also a little black on his nose. Really, I guess, ought to do it right in here. A little bit. I'm going to try to go inside here just a tad. With the black. And then come back and do some white inside the eye, just a tad. Like that. And this needs a little bit of white right there. And we need a little bit of red right here. Your mom is a retired art teacher, and she could paint, draw, anything. She was also nat a natural. Well, she must be better than me, because I'm not a natural. <laughs> not really. Ew, look at the boogers. Let me see. I'm going to have to pour some out. Just a tiny bit. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure she's probably great. All right, I'm going to put a little bit of red right in here with the white. It may not even, I just wanted it to be a little bit different for the ear right there. Thank you, Miss Tony. You're so sweet. Thank you, Lolita. Hey, Rebecca Clifton. How are you doing, girl? Thank you for coming on here. All right, so I've got my deer. So we're going to put the antlers on. And I wanted this to lean this way. So we're going to take a little bit of the glue gel. And I'm going to put that on along with the hot glue. I'm going to take this and put it right here, and then we'll take the hot glue, too. Let's see what I can do. This will probably smell, because I'm going to mix them. Yooey! Phew. All right. But I want it to be close up here, right at the edge, so I'm going to hold it for a second. Thank you, Linda. Thank you, Lolita, for those stars. Thank you for the hearts. Y'all don't have to give any stars. <clears throat> it's nice to get, but I understand if you can't do that. I'm going to put this one kind of over here on this side. So we want the glue. This will make sure that it's going to stay a little bit better. Don't breathe it in, I know. Isn't that the truth? Hey, Miss Robin. How are you? All right, I'm going to mix it with it. As much as I don't like it, it does smell really bad. So if y'all use this, I'm just going to let that be on there. I'm going to hold that. And they're really light. I'm going to take a little bit of it off. There we go. Just right there. So here he is. Okay. All right. Now we've got our picture. And it's a little bit three-dimensional down here. But what I'm going to do before we put that deer on there, I'm going to um, take some gray so it'll make it look more like the snow at the bottom. So let me get the crappy brush. This is it right here. 
and we're going to take some of the lighter gray and we're going to just do it in here. I don't want a whole lot. We can go back and do some white over it too. But this way it'll look like more like snow that the deer is in. But you don't want to do this with a good brush. You want to do it with a crappy brush. I'm going to take some white and we're going to go over that. We don't want it too gray. We want it to look kind of dirty looking. I don't know how to explain it any other way. We don't want it too severe. This looks pretty good. That's pretty good. Let me make sure. And this is good when it's like clumpy like this. It looks more like snow anyway. This is like dried junk. But it's good to have it on there. For this kind of thing. So I'm using it. Alright. So we've taken this and we've taken the gray. And then we're going back over it. Now look at it now. Let me get that out of my way. Look at the bottom. See the texture a little bit? Maybe a little diamond dust. That's a good idea. Alright, hold on. What did I do with it? Right here. I don't know if it's wet enough. Let's see. Ooh, that's pretty. Alright. Let me see. I'm going to let it fall. It didn't keep a whole lot. Let me try to do it with some more white. Let me... I don't want too much, but that's a good idea. Gotta have a little bit for it to adhere to. Let me just get some in here. Some of it stuck, but not a whole lot. All right. Get this off of there. Do y'all see the diamond dust on there? I hope so. Do you see it? I see it on there. Now we're going to take the deer. We're going to set it right here. Oh, he's pretty, y'all. In 3D, like. Okay. So we're going to take some of the gel because we're going to put it on here. You love it? I do too. I like it better than I thought I would. Thank you, Danielle. All right, let me do the back here. We're going to put some of this little doodad. Put some here, here, a little here, 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 here. Alright, I kind of got it all over the place. So I'm going to just take this. Sometimes I never know what something's going to be like, y'all, till I do it, you know? Alright, let me do a little right here. Alright, so we're going to take this and we're going to set it right about here. And we're just going to keep it there for a second. I'm going to put my hand up underneath it. So I can push. Hey, Miss Faye, how are you doing? You like it? Let me get this little piece right there. <clears throat> and really, you could put a little bit of white on the bottom of his feet. Let me try to do that. Let me get my. I'm going to get this little booger piece if it'll come off. I don't know. That way it looks like it's in there. I wish I 
wish this part would come. Here we go. No, oh, that looks a little better. Hold on. You take some of that that's dried some, it looks a little better right there. That's cool. Maybe just a little bit right in there. Some right in there. Some here. Right on all sides. <clears throat> I got a booger there. Okay. Booger's my favorite word, I guess. It's on there. And there he is. So there's our deer. Isn't it cute? Stand it up and show us what it looks like. Let me try to get it closer to you so you can see a little better. Here's the deer close up. Here's the left and the right. So do you like it? Thank you so much. I think it turned out really good. It looks good with the white at the bottom. If you like deer like I do, and I think it's really pretty. But it look, thank you for the hearts. Thank you for everybody that gave me the stars as well. Y'all are so sweet. Turned out amazing. Thank you, Miss Beth. Thank you, Miss Pat. One handsome buck. You love it, Lolita. Thank you so much, y'all. Thank you, Virginia. Y'all are so sweet. I really enjoyed this. It's really pretty. Thank you. Thank you for the hearts. It looks real. The 3D. I think it's cool, isn't it? I just thought it would look extra cute. Hey, Deb. How are you doing? He is a big buck with those. How many is that? One, two, three, four. So, eight points. Is that the way they do it? Thank you, Sissy. Thank you, Candy. Thank you, Deborah. <laughs> Those little deer on there. That's cute. So I'm going to be on on Saturday the next time because Friday is my normal time to be on. But because of, thank you, Teresa. Thank you, Miss Patty. Thank you, Gwen. Um, because we're having that event and um, I do not want to mix you know, get in there with other people so you can watch all the crafters. So make sure you come on starting Friday at 7 a.m. You can go on the Chuffed Berry Circle page or you can go on Craft Around the Clock page and you can see all of us from beginning to end um, Friday and Saturday. And I will be on on Saturday morning at 7 45, 7.45 Central. Time. So if you want to see me, if you're an early riser, you will be able to get me. Hopefully I'm going to wake up. That's the problem. <laughs> Thank you so much, Miss Linda. Thank you, Miss Tony. Y'all are so sweet. And I will see y'all on Saturday morning really early at 745. And Unique is before me. So make sure you get her at 7 a.m. on Saturday. But I'll talk to y'all later. Y'all have a good evening and thank y'all. Bye-bye.